guys, Monica Star here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the wonderful, lovely, Messy Matt. He's my first live guest on this channel ever, and he is my gay best friend, and I love him to death. So I'm just gonna ask him some questions about how he got in the makeup industry, and when he started doing makeup. So when did you actually start doing makeup for the first time? Um, for Halloween, when I was about 8 or 10 years old. I just liked the way it felt on my skin. I went as a uh, old lady. I was going to do a zombie, but the, the, the texture and the, the feel of it, it just, I fell in love with the, the, the coverage and I just felt like someone else. When did you get into makeup? I got into makeup around, had to be my freshman year of high school. I went to Hardaway High School around my freshman year. I decided, hey, I'm going to get some balls and go into school with a full face beat of makeup. So usually, you know, I stole my sister's makeup, like, you know, the little color palettes, girl, and the, uh, like a brush, br blush brush, just doing your blush, and I went to school looking like a raggedy ass golden girl. I swear, it was horrible, but I felt wonderful. And since then, I have gotten into makeup so much. I love it, I love it, love it. So, when did you first watch someone do their own makeup, or did someone do a makeover? That was my sister. She used to, we used to spend a lot of time together. She was 10 years older than me, and she would sit in, I was always in her bedroom, and she would sit there. This was back in, in years ago, you know, a time gone by. And she would sit there, and she'd put on her blush. And she, of course, we, back then, they didn't have these little, these little brushes and these little, they had something like this and a little tiny Q-tip. And you just put it on the mm -hmm. eyeball and all this kind of stuff. And she used to wear blue uh, mascara and eyeliner on her waterline. And just she looked, and compared to today, she looked a hot mess. And she would sit there in front of that big old vanity, a big old mirror, and she would just just go away. And I'd just sit there and watch her and listen to her, her 45s and listen, watching Bruce Springsteen gyrate on the stage. And when um, did you ever watch somebody first do makeup? Like these brushes. These are the brushes that we used to, I used to do this when I was in freshman year of high school. This is what I used. We didn't have these fancy brushes. First time I saw someone do their makeup was, actually it wasn't in person. I first got, it was Logan Salid, a friend of mine from up in North Carolina. It was a guy I used to talk to, because I used to talk to a bunch of guys way back when on Snapchat and stuff. <laughs> And I actually watched him do his makeup for the first time. And he took that mug and beat it. And it was so glorious watching just someone do their makeup over the thing. It was amazing. I loved it. So, how did you get introduced to drag? Um, oh God, I remember the first time I went to a gay club. I didn't know what drag was. I went to a gay club, I was 19 years old, and I watched Monica Van Pelt. She was the very first drag queen I'd ever seen. And I was down at the PTO downtown uh, back in 97, 98. And the first song she ever did, the first song I ever saw anybody perform in drag was, uh, oh my God, uh, Fancy by Reba McIntyre. And I just remember just, she just looked like a, like, wow, it was like a celebrity up there. And the way she just had her eyebrows were way up here, even it just, the way she just transformed her face from, from this, this dude to this gal was just, it was extraordinary. Um, what about you? Uh, my first time in introducing track was also Lugland Salit. He texted me and said, Hey, do you know about RuPaul's Drag Race? I was like, RuPaul's Drag Race? I was like, what is that? A gay person, and I never, gay in the closet, I did not know what RuPaul's Drag Race was. Blasphemy. I was like, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> so he said, watch it on Logo. So I did. I was watching season six on Drag Race with Bianca Del Rio, which you guys know, one of my names is Bianca and Monica. I use Bianca sometimes when I feel like being her. But I got the name Bianca Summers from Drag Race, and that's how I got into drag, and I got to learn the art and watch these queens that are celebrities and just watch them actually transform into women and be so powerful and just have the confidence to walk on that stage and walk in front of RuPaul. That's a tough bitch. She's tall. <laughs> but that's actually when I started doing, introduced to drag. 
and I actually did drag for four months and this is my fourth month going in but the first time I went to a gay club I'll never forget it was here at the Velvet Room I was a performer it was you remember because he was with me on my first night I looked like a fucking tramp Bitch, I was trying to fit into a purple, that purple tiny dress I had, and the purple heels. Is that the one where the zipper popped? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we were backstage in the dressing room, and Alice was like, She popped like Who a can this? of sardines. <laughs> and then the bitch was like, You ain't gonna fit in this. So they had to bobby pin me in the dress, y'all. It was crazy. <laughs> I loved it, but damn. And that's actually when I started my performances uh, I kept going weekly and weekly and then I stopped for a while because I got to high school to finish which I am two classes away from getting my diploma and that's actually my first time going to a gay club the first so the first time you went to a gay club you popped like a can of Pringles yes mm. oh girl <laughs> do you remember the first time I did Whitney Houston <laughs> I was in y'all's living room singing it yes my ears it's still ring right so my ears still ring for I'm my day. Gonna make it Can you do something my hair? Way. I'm just gonna shave my head up. I'm so tired of my hair. <laughs> well, Matt, Messy Matt, thank you for joining me on this channel. And I'm so glad to be working with you. And it has been a blessing to have you on here on my YouTube channel. So just let's just say au revoir to you viewers. And I'll be back, back, back again with another episode of the Star Chronicles next week. Bye, guys.